we look around at society, it's easy to see how messed up things are, right? We have politicians fighting each other. It doesn't matter what state you're in. It doesn't matter what election it is. There are things going on all around the world. We could be arguing over oil. We could be arguing over gay rights, gay marriage, gay this, whatever it is in that arena. We could argue about the desecration of God's intention of marriage. We could argue all day long about the, the new Sharia law that's being passed in certain states or the, the Islamic takeover. There are so many things we could be arguing about. There are so many things that we could be letting take over. Gun rights, that's just another one, right? Your right to free speech, your right to proclaim Jesus is Lord. We could be arguing over all of these things, and many people fall into the trap of doing just that. But you see, what ends up happening is the more that we get into all of that, the more it gets us off track of God's word. The more that we fall into the snares and the traps of the enemy, the harder it is to get out. And that is why when we look at how Jesus lived, his mission was so narrow focused. He's, he, he came here to set the captives free, destroy the works of the enemy in this hour. And so while there is a world running amok around you, does not change the fact that you are called to love. You are called to pray for your enemies. And in this day and time, we all need just that. So when I turn.